everyone, this is Rachel, and this process video is the first in a new series I am doing with Kelly O. Black. We are calling it Work the Line, and basically we're going to be working within one paper line. For our first go-around, we are doing Chamel's Little by Little, so I will put a link to her channel. And I really wanted to use this paper here, and basically this entire layout is based on me misunderstanding something. <laughs> And that is, I had wanted to use those foam words as part of my title, and when I saw a particular phrase, I was like, oh, that would be perfect, only in my head, I'm like, oh, it's in white, so I need some bright colored base uh, to make sure you can see the white letters. Because these patterns for me are so bold, I wanted to calm it down a bit by having some white cardstock. So I take these two pieces of paper and I did show you what they're called. I'm trying to remember to do that. I don't always manage to do that, but I did want to try. And I'm just making sure that the chevrons are going in the same direction. It doesn't bother me that they're two different colors on two different sides, but it would bother me if they were heading in different directions. So in my head, as I was saying, the words I wanted to use were in white when in actuality they were in black. <laughs> and it would have been totally fine to just have them on the colored pattern paper as opposed to uh, not being able to go, I, I'm sorry, it would have been fine going on the white cardstock rather than um, having to not be that way. Now this is a very simple layout, but it's beginning to look a little too stark for me, so I'm going to add some spatters, and I'm using the Shimmers Vibes in Glorious Day, Don't Rain on My Parade, and Jenny B. Blue, kind of following the beachy colors that I already have going in this layout. Uh, the picture is of my nephew and his best friend, and they are at the beach, so I was going for a kind of light and airy feel. So I'm just going to lay down some spatters in three different areas, and I'm going to put it to the side to dry while I work on something else, and I'm going to realize I never glued down that top piece, and I got some on that paper, but it's okay because I actually really bought it for the feathers, and I can always, that's what embellishing is for anyways. So while my other paper is drying, I'm just going to put a couple of layers behind the photo and this one is actually raindrops and it's obviously not raining there but I'm only going to have a little peak of it. I'm basically just looking for some multicolor rather than actual use of the pattern and everything seems to be dry and now I'm like I'm like I probably sh really should have taped this down before I did that because I'm probably going to smear something but once I managed to get it down I'm like okay you 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 didn't smear anything yay I get a little happy when I don't make a mistake. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my photo down. And as I said, this is a very simple layout. Kelly, of course, will have her own take on using little by little, and I'm sure it will be awesome. I have enjoyed watching her videos for a long time now. So my title, I have a very long title, and the first part of it is When in Doubt. So it might not make sense, but I thought I placed this title perfectly. I was super happy with the way it turned out. Yes. Um, so while it might not make sense until you read the journaling, my entire title is When in Doubt, Just Nod and Say Yes. So I'm going to add the black foam stars to bring, because I forgot that the title was in black, I hadn't really added any black to this layout at all. So I wanted to use those stars to bring black around the whole thing rather than just in that first part of the title. I'm also going to pull out from the Chamel Little by Little sticker booklet three different word, uh, phrase stickers, and they're going to be, I think it's Oh Honestly, Friendship, and then there's something else, and I, hold on, it's right here. For once, I actually have it right here. Oh Honestly, Friendship, and That's the Spirit. So I'm going to start working on my subtitle, I guess would be the best word for it. Now, I think I've mentioned before, these round circle uh, stickers, well, really, honestly, any round alpha stickers, they're just not my favorite. I, they never will be. I find them to be slightly annoying. <laughs> but I don't hate them, and they work well in this context, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. Now, I've been dealing with the sticker booklet. It's been driving me crazy every time I want to use it. And finally, I just say, oh, you know, to heck with it. We're going to rip this sucker apart. 
<laughs> and I'm much happier using it that way. I'm just uh, pulling the staples out right now. <laughs> it took me a little while. I had to pull out some scissors and do that but now I am much much happier and I find this yellow frame sticker that will work for my journaling and I add a I have one of those star stickers left I'd already used them on another layout so I'm like well I've got all these stars and there's only one left so I'll just plop that one down and I'm going to be using these clear stickers for the rest of my title and that is uh and I realized, I started with the word and down, I realized, no, the middle word is not and, the middle word is say. So I'm going to do that one in navy, and then the word yes in yellow. And I was just testing to make sure you could actually see it against the background, because obviously I didn't want it, because they're clear stickers, that does affect how the clear sticker comes across. So I didn't want to not be, for someone not to be able to read a letter, and then the word and is in pink. I couldn't remember the word. Oh, lordy people, sometimes my brain. Okay, so this is getting close to being done. As I said, once again, very, very simple layout. I was, you know, I the photo was really cute. The story is really cute. So I just wanted to keep everything else on the simple side. I do pull out some simple stories, enamel dots, and these are from the You Are Here collection. And I'm going to do three sets of three in yellow, pink, and blue. And once I do that, all I have to do is write my journaling and this layout is complete. Okay, so the reason I wanted to do this layout is I thought it was very cute. My nephew and his best friend went down to visit his best friend's grandparents in Florida. They do that every year. And this year, they happen to have haircuts that are incredibly similar. And my nephew, whilst taking a shower, managed to lose one of his contacts. So, and of course, he's 16, so he didn't bring an extra one. And so he had to wear his glasses all week long. And they said all week long, people kept asking him, oh my gosh, are you twins? Like, dozens of not dozens but like several times throughout the week and um I do decide oh I forgot about this I decide I need something else over in that left hand cluster and I want something circular to kind of mimic the circles that are going on in that aqua piece of paper and I choose a yellow piece of flare just I just it needed something I don't know why I just felt it did so I'm going to place that down, and now I am happy with how it looks, and I am complete with this layout. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. Please make sure to check out Kelly's layout on her channel. I will link it in the description box below. Have a great day, everyone, and bye!